New keyboards are coming. I repeat, new keyboards are coming. This is not a drill. New keyboards are coming. Hit subscribe, compressed air blast that bell gizmo so you won't miss the next video. And then let's talk all about them. I'm Rene Ritchie and this is Vector. Guo Mingqi, supply chain exfiltrator extraordinaire in a report issued earlier today, text by a Mac rumors. There have been successful developments in the new scissor keyboard. The new keyboard could improve the typing experience by offering longer key travel and durability by adopting glass fiber to reinforce the key's structure. This allegedly for the 2019 MacBook Air update. Now, if you're not up on your keyboard nomenclature, then scissor switches are the fairly standard mechanism Apple used across their laptop lineups, at least prior to 2015, when they introduced their own invented at Apple butterfly switches to the then newly redesigned 12 inch MacBook. And from there, the 2016 new MacBook Pro and 2018 new MacBook Air. I will explain, no, no. There is too much. Phil Schiller will sum up. Here's a slow motion video of a customer typing on a standard keyboard. And as you see, as the keys get pressed, they're a bit wobbly. In fact, if you press them on the side, they start to bottom out. That's because they're based on a mechanism called a scissor mechanism. And there was a time when that was great. But now there's something new. Our team invented a butterfly mechanism. This butterfly mechanism is built of a single assembly and it's supported by a stainless steel dome switch. And that all adds up to a key that is much more precise and accurate. In fact, it's four times more stable than that scissor mechanism, yet it is 40% thinner, allowing us to make a thinner keyboard. And we also made the keycap larger, making it even easier to strike and get a beautiful typing experience. So this is a slow motion video of typing on the new keyboard on the new MacBook. Quo cool again. We believe the partially refreshed MacBook Pro models will also adopt a new scissor keyboard in 2020. Shipments of MacBook models equipped with the new scissor keyboard will grow 500 to 700% year over year in 2020. Though the butterfly keyboard is still thinner than the new scissor keyboard, we think most users can't tell the difference. Furthermore, the new scissor keyboard could offer a better user experience and benefit Apple's profits. Therefore, we predict that the butterfly keyboard may finally disappear in the long term. Now, this part is a little harder to parse. Apple released the all new MacBook Air design last year in October of 2018, but without a new keyboard design. Normally, swapping out keyboard designs is non-trivial since they're machined down to the micromillimeters so everything fits perfectly. All new designs are expensive though, both in terms of what it costs to ramp up production and to keep current customers from getting angry if you update too often, never mind not often enough. Apple could just say, frack it in Battlestar parlance and go with two new models two years in a row. Or it's also possible that knowing the new keyboard design was coming but not quite yet arriving, they built the current chassis so that it'd be easier to transition to the new keyboard. I find this kind of stuff utterly fascinating, but we'll just have to wait and see what Apple does. Curiouser even is the MacBook Pro. It was previously rumored that Apple was coming out with an all new 16 inch MacBook Pro design this year in 2019. How does that reconcile with what Quo calls a partially refreshed MacBook Pro models only getting the new scissor keyboards in 2020? Does that mean, like the Air, Apple will release the new MacBook Pro first with the old keyboards this year and then refresh them again with the new keyboard next year? Doesn't mean the new MacBook Pros won't be coming at all until next year, and Quo only considers that a partial refresh either way, war on bezels be damned. Or does it mean he just forgot about the 16 inch for this report? Like, whoops, whoopsie. Because as much as smaller bezels will be nice, I think it's safe to say the only thing everyone really wants from an all new MacBook Pro is that all new keyboard. Much like nothing unreal exists, no unannounced Apple products exist, and the company can and will move things around as needed. So until Phil or John Turnus or someone at Apple shows them off on stage or slips them out in a press release, we're all just trying to read patterns in the echoes of past decisions yet to ship. Now, personally, I hope Apple doesn't go entirely back to the old scissor switches. The current butterfly switches do have some good characteristics as well. The amount of travel has been hugely divisive, which is untenable in a product made by only one manufacturer, but that is something scissor mechanisms alone should fix. Butterflies were literally like the bottom halves of the scissors, and now we're getting both halves back. 
and the failure rates, regardless of whether you choose to believe they were underreported to Apple because people simply suffered through them or that they were exaggerated by social media rage machine, they've become radioactive. After three generations, membranes and new materials, there's just nowhere left to go with them, but end of line. But I really, really like how flat and stable they make the typing experience. The old scissor switches feel positively loosey-goosey by comparison. If the new scissor switch design or the new glass fiber reinforcements somehow give us the best of both switch worlds, I'll be super happy. Now that sounds like a really hard problem to solve, but it's absolutely Apple's problem to solve. For the rest of us, it's brilliant. Brilliant is a problem solving website and app with a hands-on approach with over 50 interactive courses. In Brilliant's new puzzle science course, you'll develop a solid foundation in physics while playing with puzzles. Each quiz focuses on solving puzzles that relate to a topic in the natural world. You'll explore the physics of mirror reflections, laser tag, and making the perfect shot in a game of pool. There's even a whole series where you'll use puzzles to figure out why steel ships don't sink in the ocean, but steel blocks do. To support Vector and get unlimited access to Brilliant's courses and daily challenges, head on over to brilliant.org slash vector and get 20% off their annual premium subscription. Thanks Brilliant and thanks to all of you, seriously, for supporting the show. Now, real talk, I had problems with the old scissor keyboards as well. I popped the caps off to clean them when they got good and goofy, even had to have the whole keyboard and casing replaced once. Thanks AppleCare. And I've been doing pretty much the same thing with the current MacBooks and their butterfly keyboards, popping and cleaning with compressed air. But it doesn't work as well for as many people and they're so much more damn fragile that I can't recommend anyone else even think about doing it, lest you're left ordering replacement keys off Amazon, like an animal. And that's just not a solution for anything approaching normal people. And of course, Apple's had bad designs before. The iPhone 4 antenna, infamously, could be killed with a single touch at just the wrong spot. And they even shipped an iPod shuffle that had, I kid you not, no buttons, zero. But Apple fixed the iPhone 4 antenna in less than a year for the Verizon model and for every carrier in less than 18 months with the iPhone 4S. And they called a mulligan on that iPod shuffle so fast that the butterfly keyboard stayed on the market for this long is terrible. A confluence of bad decisions and bad timing. But hopefully it's also exactly the kind of thing Apple's new design organization and yeah, their new operational overlord, Jeff Williams, will catch and correct much, much faster. I mean, maybe not Steve Jobs, well then why doesn't it do that throwing things across the room fast, but fast? At least as someone who depends on the MacBook day in, day out, that's my beautiful dream. But now I want to hear yours. Hit like if you do, subscribe if you haven't already, and then hit up the comments and let me know. What do you want to see from Apple's next generation scissor switch keyboards? Thank you so much for watching and see you next video.